Ted and Alexia. I'd like to uh, welcome you to Haydesi Airstream. Want to talk a little bit about the Villaggio by Renegade. Uh, Renegade Corporation, uh, its roots would be in the NASCAR field. They did most of the high-end car haulers, which ultimately became these drivers wanted to marry those high-end car haulers with a custom coach. So the Renegade Corporation for years has been producing some of the finest motorhomes in the industry, period. So it was a natural progression for them to move into the Class B or B Plus uh, motorhome division, which is the bottom line is smaller coaches, more mobile, uh, but still with that whole custom concept. The Villaggio, based off of the Mercedes-Benz 3-liter turbo diesel chassis. These 3500 Sprinter chassis are very cool because they've been on the market forever, but the engines just keep getting better. This whole 3-liter thing, the bottom line is 20 miles per gallon. Uh, these engines just keep maturing. They actually get better with time. Uh, not only that, uh, they don't depreciate. So it's this investment in this product line is really kind of cool. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, what I love about this product line. I can show you other stuff on our lot here that has, I call it stickers, because that's the way they paint them. They put stickers on the side after they put some uh, uh, lacquer on it. These are full body paint, meaning that uh, this is all custom. That is really what this product line is all about, the whole custom concept, but yet being able to run down the uh, road at an affordable price and being able to uh, live luxuriously uh, without being uh, tight quartered, if you will. So, Bellagio by Renegade. Let's take a look. Even before I get to the interior of this coach, I want to talk a little bit about uh, how this is produced, uh, the exterior, what goes on. Above us, you're going to see eight and a half foot extension of an armless awning. What's great about this armless awning is that you can stop it anywhere in between uh, the coach itself and the closest vehicle, tree or whatever. That is, a, that is not available to be done on some of our other units as far as extending the awning. Uh, we talked about the seamless uh, paint colors that are done. When you're talking about seamless, I want to point out the windows. The windows are what are called uh, frameless windows. They're jealousy type though. What that means is if it's raining, you can crank these bad boys up, have all the rain coming down you want without any fear of any water coming in. Also, these are windows that can be opened as you're rolling down the road. That, my friend, is a beautiful thing because uh, what are we here for? We don't need necessarily the big overhead AC unit if we can have air moving through the compartment. Now, from the standpoint of storage, you're going to see amazing things from this company. This is all gas cylinder, um, we call them basement compartments, and they are done in fully finished uh, solid aluminum construction sealed chambers. No water, completely insulated. It's all about uh, the quality factor. Then where you do have overheads, you've got beautiful storage on the interior. And certainly, there is your uh, Cummins generator, <coughs> which is going to provide all the power you need. So that makes you, if you will, fully independent. Uh, along with that, we have stabilizers on this unit that actually will self-level the unit, also give you the feeling of even though you have six points of rest, uh, you're going to make sure that this platform is completely solid. Come on A couple around. of features that come with the Bellagio. You have the opportunity with your receiver here to tow up to 5,000 pounds. You also have a fully finished cap, but also a lighted rear backup camera. Uh, which uh, that is kind of a bonus because it also has audio. So the backup camera becomes kind of a fun thing when you're rolling down the road. Come on around. I love the design of the Bellagio because 
even all of your receptacles, they, they will move out through the base of the unit. Notice how they've done laser etch detailing on the inside. That will allow you to close the unit off, but still have all of your access, meaning that the coach stays looking good, but all of your uh, water, all of your sewer is completely hooked up without access panels being open. Once again, you've got 50 amp service here, so that provides you with all the electric you need to run the entire platform. Once again, we talked about those insulated doors, and they are all on uh, gas cylinders, so there is storage all the way around. Wanted to quickly point out what gives you interior room are these bump outs that are completely finished, but also they're what are called sh Schwinn mechanisms. This is the best in the business, and actually this same mechanism is used to power the monster truck uh, platforms that they make for the Renegade Corporation. So once again, it's the cool factor, but it's all about quality. Come on the Sprinter chassis, you have held the luxury, if you will, of the Mercedes-Benz. I did want to point out some key features, such as, how about your, uh, your access port here for your fuel? That allows you to lock in your fuel, shut the door, and still have access or open the door, get to your fuel compartment, and still be able to fill. And as far as the Mercedes-Benz platform, you have the onboard computer. You have all of the fun stuff that comes with ownership of a Mercedes-Benz. Uh, but why don't we come on inside? Let's take a look. Okay, as you walk into the Villaggio, Obviously what catches your eye is, is probably the decor because it's beautiful. But from strictly an, um, I guess a functionality standpoint, some things present. You have, you have actually, you have uh, your lighting for your exterior down low so that you can catch that on the way in. You have all of your interior lights at your disposal here. And then your entire control panel is right here. From the standpoint of your slide room, your awning, your battery disconnect, your stabilizers, generator, uh, all of your um, your uh, fuse boxes here along with all of your uh, monitoring for your uh, controls. So everything at your fingertips as you walk in. This is really kind of a huge thing. But let's talk about fit and finish. What's beautiful about this product, frankly, is all the radius, all the banded edges, all of the interior and exterior hardware. Uh, the way that they've actually done this anthracite is absolutely beautiful. Moving to uh, the fun finish work that they've done on the caps, uh, all of the storage and access that is available, certainly the ability to light and have fun with, uh, notice these are actually called day-night shades where you have the light that permeates and then you can actually block out the light completely. So that is really, and they all fold into the beautiful fabric balances. We have the seamless windows that pivot out, so if it's raining you're still golden. Uh, here you have the uh, love seat which by the way folds out into the double. You have seat belts there so if you are working with additional people uh, great to have uh, that opportunity. A lot of room is created in here, of course, and then let's not forget that you have the Mercedes-Benz seating, which pivots and which can then be utilized as all the way around, so that you can utilize this as your recliner for certainly visiting, uh, for watching the 29-inch HD LED TV. Uh, the computer portion of this is Kenwood. You have a beautiful, um, you know, the Mercedes-Benz uh, drivetrain. So that all is, you know, kind of standard as far as how Mercedes rolls. The galley sets up beautifully. Certainly you have all that air that can move through. You have cooktops done in stainless steel with uh, uh, tempered glass. Same thing also on the uh, deep well stainless uh, sink done by Domenic. Also, uh, it's all uh, tempered glass. You have Corian surfaces. Notice all of the radius and certainly all of the space that is created in the Bellagio. Uh, so obviously the decks, the uh, galley sets up beautifully with 
combination of convection microwave so you have a convection oven so you can bake cookies and then you have the three-way Dometic here which pulls down and pulls out so that this can be utilized either for a freezer refrigerator or done certainly an all refrigerator so this is kind of Dometic state-of-the-art if you will beautifully accomplished lavatory in the this is really what separates this company I think from the other corporations out there I love the frosted windows which by the way set below a fantastic fan which is going to draw tens of thousands of cubic feet of air now in the bathroom you've got all kinds of room you've got automatic flush you've got this beautiful this is a magnetic closure with overhead skylight full walk-in shower beautifully done uh, then uh, the bowl the sink comes in with all stainless steel appointments in the beautiful uh, cast glass bowl just really beautifully done and plenty of room to change your socks and I then love. as we approach the master you're going to have plenty of shelving for either pantry or certainly for additional wardrobe space wardrobe space as you move into and you can actually close off the master from the existing cabin additional LED TV in here now this is a twin setup which could function certainly as a full king and then you have a nightstand along with overhead storage all LED lighting and the beautiful thing about all the air that would move through the back deck I love the platform on the Villaggio. Ted, Alexia, I am sitting here in the lap of luxury in the Villaggio. It's about a 24 and something foot platform. Uh, you can tow anything with it. You can go any. You can use this to uh, spend a couple of months on the beach. Uh, you can get in this thing and go pick up a gallon of milk. Uh, that's what's beautiful about this because it gets better gas mileage than my Honda. Um, once again, uh, thanks again for your interest in Haydesi Airstream and certainly Villaggio by Renegade. Uh, my phone is 614-279-8880 or you can reach me via email eric at haydesi.com. Uh, once again, I want to thank you guys. Uh, I'd like to tell you to uh, enjoy the journey, and but most of all, happy camping.